This lesson is on elements and compounds. Today we're going to looking at we're going to be looking at the text 6.5 a, b, and c. Those include elements of pure substances represented by chemical symbols. We will also differentiate between elements and compounds, and we will recognize that there are different elements that make up our earth. An element is a pure substance that cannot be broken down into any other substance. All the elements can be found on the periodic table, and elements are represented by a symbol. For example, carbon is represented by a C, a capital C. Hydrogen is represented by a capital H. And calcium is represented by a capital C and a lowercase a. Each element has a symbol, a chemical symbol, of one or two letters. The first letter is always uppercase, and the second is always lowercase. Carbon, oxygen, sodium, chlorine, and hydrogen are some examples. There are many different kinds of elements that can be found in and on our Earth. If we're looking at water of Earth, it is mostly made up of oxygen, but also contains hydrogen and other elements. If we're looking at the air that surrounds our Earth, we can see that most of it is made up of nitrogen, with oxygen and other elements. If we're looking at the crust of Earth, Almost half is oxygen, but we have 27, almost 30% of that is silicon, plus small amounts of many other elements. Living things also contain different elements. Plants and animals are mostly made up of oxygen. But they also have hydrogen, carbon, plus other elements in smaller, in smaller amounts. Compounds are, are substances when two or more elements combine in a chemical change. For example, if we have sodium, which is represented by the chemical symbol in capital N, lowercase a, and it is chemically combined, which we show with a plus sign, to chlorine, which is a capital C and a lowercase l, that becomes sodium chloride, which is also known as salt. So we use a chemical equation to show how elements combine to form compounds. Na plus Cl gives us NaCl which is salt. Sodium plus chlorine gives us sodium chloride, also known as salt. Hydrogen, chemically combined with oxygen, gives us H2O, or water. Carbon, chemically combined with oxygen, gives us carbon dioxide. Many compounds have common names. We've said that sodium chloride is salt. Also sugar and water are some examples. And again, this time we're showing it with a graphic of the atoms of the different elements. So Na plus Cl, sodium plus chlorine gives us sodium chloride, which is also known as salt.
compounds are represented by chemical formulas and they sometimes we will see these numbers these numbers are called subscripts and they let us know the number of atoms that have been combined so in sodium chloride or salt you do not have a number so you know that one atom of sodium and one atom of chlorine makes up the compound salt. In carbon dioxide, you have one atom of carbon and two of oxygen to make up carbon dioxide. In water, two atoms of hydrogen chemically combine with one atom of oxygen to create water. If you look at the periodic table, can you figure out what this compound is made of and what it's called? Write it on a post-it and turn it in to me in the morning.